it's true there are McCardimals hiding on this beach, we've got to find them before anyone else does. Oh, we'll find them, all right. What do we have here? A couple of nosy earthlings crapping up a hideout? Not on my watch. Come on, boys! The beach, part one. Shells, starfish, sand dollars, sea urchins. These are the kinds of specimens I want you to be looking for on our field trip to South Shore Beach, okay? Hey, did you hear that, Evan? Wasn't that the name of the place where some McCartimals are supposed to be hiding out? South Shore Beach, that's the place. Did you say something, Jason? Uh you seem to be muttering to yourself a lot lately. What is it? Are you talking to an imaginary friend or something? Huh? <laughs> no, of course not. Jason, you're with us. Huh? You're part of our group. Really? What group? You mean like a band? No, we're supposed to divide into groups for the field trip. Weren't you listening at all? Boy, what a space cadet. <laughs> yeah, Earth to Jason. <laughs> This is great! Just smell that sea air, it's so refreshing! And corrosive. So who tipped you off that there were McCartimals hiding somewhere on this beach? Phoenix got the tip, not me. A little birdie told him. You know, he's good at talking to animals. If the intel is true, maybe Tanatos is one of those McCartimals. Well then, let's go find him! Find what? Who are you talking to? <laughs> what uh -oh. are you doing? Uh... Just a few stretches. I always get stiff after a long bus ride like that. Oh yeah, there we go, much better. Really? It was a 20 minute ride at the most. You must have poor circulation. Anyway, remember what Mr. Kim said. And stay with your group at all times, you got that? Okay, okay. okay. We're supposed to stick together. That goes for you and Isabel too, Jason. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Now Isabel's gone. Mm. Gee, our group isn't showing much groupiness. I wonder if Isabel overheard me talking to Evan. She's probably looking for the McCartimals too. <sighs> okay, Scrap. Please get out of here. This is our hideout. Me, you bug-eyed barnacles. I'm King Jar, see? Yeah, and I'm his right-hand man, Crocky. And I'm his left-hand man, Actor. <laughs> you sure scared them. They won't be back anytime soon. Well, sometimes you gotta teach them who's boss. Well, you sure taught them. Yeah, you sure them who's boss, boy. Get it. off me. Looks like these creepy crawlies are gonna have to learn their lesson the hard way. Octa, Crocky, follow me. Right behind you, boss. Look at them, they can't even walk straight. Hey, what happened to them? Where did they all go? Oh, I think you scared them so bad they crawled down those holes to hide from you. And I don't blame them, because you're one scary customer, boss. Hey, find somewhere else to hide. This is our hideout, see? Yeah, but maybe we should share it. What? After all, it is their <laughs> What are you doing? Hey, put it down! Oh, God! Hey, come back here! That's my henchman you've got! Bring him back! I'm warning you, if you're thinking of eating me, you're gonna be sorry! I am very chewy! Nobody snatches one of my henchmen and gets away with it! And I have, like, zero nutritional value! My sensors are picking up strong traces of multiple McCartans. Hmm. Are you sure, Taro? Quite sure. These tire tracks weren't made by crabs, Isabel. All right. But we need to find more than their traces. We need to find them. Affirmative. And quickly, before Jason does. Before I do what? <laughs> You're supposed to stay with your group, Isabel. That means stay with us. Ooh, I want to jump in. Well, don't, Brandon. Why do you and Jason keep sneaking off by yourselves all the time? I think I'll see what the guys are doing. Hey, let's build a sandcastle. 
<laughs> Why not? Our objective is to find specimens of sea life. Yep, that's right. And not to have sneaky secrets. What? I don't have any sneaky secrets. show his beak around here again. Well, after all, it's his speech too, I guess. Not anymore, it ain't. <laughs> Come on, boys. At least now we got the place to ourselves. Wait, what? Who is it now? Earthlings? Great. Is there anyone who doesn't know about this hideout? Hmm. A specimen of Asterozoa. You're a specimen, Kevin. <laughs> Don't forget about the McCardimals. I know, but we can't go looking for them right now. I've got to sneak away somehow. You look confused, Isabel. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Don't they have beaches where you come from? See, this is the kind of thing we're looking for. Seashells. Fascinating. You can hear the ocean in the big ones. You should check it out. Hey, look at Isabel. She looks just like a mermaid. You're right. <laughs> what are you guys staring at? Staring? Me? <laughs> I'm too busy to stare. Earthlings! What are they doing here? Well, at least they planted it. Yeah, Walter, would you stop saying things like that? You're getting the boss upset. Okay, I've had enough of this. There ain't gonna be no more trespassers in my hideout. Let's get rid of them. No, I thought we were hiding. Why are you looking like that? What happened? There's something weird inside that shell! What kind of weird? Oh, it was just a crab. But it didn't look like a crab. Maybe I just imagined it, but I could have sworn. Oh, no. Jason, look to your left. What? I'm a cardinal. Oh, man. Don't worry, they weren't looking. Yeah. We're lucky no one saw it, including Isabel. I guess that must be one of the McCardimals Phoenix told you about. Yeah, I've got to stop it before it gets away. It may know something about Tenatos. Evan! Don't! They'll see you! Someone's acting strange. This is gonna be an epic sandcastle! <laughs> that kid's dangerous! Jason, look what you did! You flattened my castle! I kinda tripped. Sorry, Brandon. Good thing it wasn't inhabited or that really would have been tragic. <laughs> Curious how alike they all are. One crab indistinguishable from the... Huh? <laughs> Surprise! Guess who? Why are you doing that? <laughs> huh? Hey, where'd it go? What? That's odd. Hey, maybe you got sand in your glasses or something. <laughs> uh, this definitely ain't my day. Could have sworn. That sun sure can play tricks on your eyes. Time to regroup. Something weird is going on. That thing I saw didn't look anything like a crab. Yeah, mine didn't either. More like hey, a... You guys remember those rumors about tiny magical cars? Maybe, Maybe one, one of them's here. here! Oh man, I better do something fast before they find out they're right. What? What was that? I got him! I got him! <laughs> Quick! It's getting away! <sighs> gotcha, magic car! Excellent Yay, work! Huh? 
Where'd you go? Yeah! <laughs> Being attacked by some kind of vicious creature with pictures! I guess it was just a crab after all. That's certainly a disappointing development. Maybe you're right, Jason. Maybe we have been out in the sun too long. Where are those two clowns? Hold on a minute. Who are you? Sorry, pal, but this beach is already taken. Find yourself another hideout. I'm not looking for a hideout. I'm looking for my brother, Tanatos, who disappeared shortly after coming to this planet. Have you seen him, or do you know where he might be? Tanatos, huh? Nope, never heard of him. Now get lost, buddy. This is my turf, so make like your brother and disappear. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tracker tells me there's a bunch of McCardimals on this beach. And they're all mine. Go! Battle at the Beach, Part 2. Well, did you run off those half kids, boss? Did you? Did you run them off real good? No, and now they got a McCardimal with them. The secret hideout's busier than a rush hour freeway. Greetings! What now? Who are you? And what is it you want? I can lead you to a hideout that no one knows about. Where's this guy taking us, boss? How should I know? But it can't be any worse than the last place we picked for a hideout. Whoa! I take it back! This could be worse! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Taming on! Boss! Boss! You okay, boss? Stand down, boys. Old King Jaws finally got tamed. What do you know? So I guess I gotta call you boss from now on, huh? Call me Isabel. Hey, wait a minute. You're not thinking of leaving us here all by ourselves, are you? Yeah, after all, we're a team. You've got to tame us too, Isabel. Please. No problem. Heads up, Isabel. We've got company. <laughs> so she found him first, huh? Who says finders keepers? <laughs> <laughs> so there's three of them. Thanks, Isabel. When my tracker showed me there were multiple McCardimals here, I thought I'd have to tame them one by one. But now I can get them all at once just by beating you. Don't even try it. You think you can just walk away? Uh-uh. I'm challenging you to a battle. Let's go. Well, if you insist. <laughs> Ready? Don't say I didn't warn you, Ryan. Set up, mech hard! Set up, mech hard! <laughs> Unleash King Jaws! Three, two, one, McCardimal go! <laughs> Unleash Mamoru! Three, two, one, McCardimal go! There's a mechard battle going on. There. 
better? Don't look now, guys, but we've lost Isabel again. I don't believe it. Where did she go this time? I know where. Okay, so where is he, huh? What am I supposed to do, battle myself? So what's your McCardimal strategy, Isabel? To hide and hope we go away? Not quite, but you'll wish it was. You'll be the one hiding from him pretty soon! Oh, you're in so much trouble! Yeah, well, so far I'm not impressed. <laughs> yeah! Careful, Momoru! Feel the steel! Power chomp! I'm hungry for more! Is that all you got? Okay, our turn. Come on, Momoru, let's show these guys how it's done! Throwing Thunder Avalanche! Rock and roll! Uh, let's see how you chew on these, Guppy Breath. Us. We don't want to be late. Shouldn't we find Isabel and tell her? Big time. She's part of our group. Don't worry. Showing up late to the bus is the least of her problems. What does that mean, Jason? How do you even know? I just meant she's probably okay. We'll tell Mr. Kim and he can send out a search party if he wants, but I don't want to get in trouble, so I'm going. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, Jason. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, then. Counter move! Wall of water! <laughs> Mason, you're sunk, you tin plate and hunk of junk! <laughs> Ryan, any ideas? Yeah, kick up a dust storm! Sand twister! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let him have it, Momoru! Smash him, King Jaws! Are you okay, boss? <laughs> you give up? Keep dreaming. You really think that fish of yours can beat my Momoru? You're the one who's dreaming. Yeah? No problem, you got this coming, right, Isabel? You got a trick up your sleeve, yeah? Well, that is, if your head sleeves, right? Right. Let's finish it. Final ability! Let's give him a big hand! Monster fist! <laughs> Right, it's getting late. Time I wrapped this up and got back to the bus. You're not getting away! Right, I've seen sea slugs that are faster than you! Oh yeah? You're gonna be plated when I'm done with you! <laughs> Somebody, I could have done a lot worse. Those McCardimals of yours, they might not be so happy if they knew. You know, your ultimate plan. Just give me more. 
Yeah, take him, but you won't be keeping him for long. Isabel's lost? Really? Are you sure you're not the ones who got lost? Because she says she looked all over the place for you. What? She's already on the bus. She came back when she couldn't find you. Sorry, we didn't know you were looking for us. We thought you'd wandered off. Yeah, what a mix-up. Isabel, now I feel bad. It's fine. I had a very interesting day anyway. I bet. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, what? Nothing. Here, it's the least we can do. Yeah, I wish we could do even less. What are they? You know, shells, sea urchins, stuff like that. You can have them, Isabel. You were probably so busy looking for us, you didn't have time to collect any of your own. But aren't these yours? Yours, ours, whatever. We're all in the same group, right? Indeed. <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna like working for this kid. Oh, me too, boy. Yeah, boss, she's a bit of all right. What was that? You heard it too? Something about someone's all right? Uh, all right! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Today? Uh, no, it was even better than all right. It was awesome! <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah, today was a bomb! Okay, Jason, <laughs> calm down. Everyone, please take your seats so we can be on our way. <laughs> Jason, sometimes I really think you've lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Enemy in Common, Part 1. Hurry! Montari, are you sure it's him? Yes, he's here. I sensed his presence. Down here, we can't let him tame us. Definitely not. I think we lost him. What's going on? Is my engine overheating? Taming on. Dockery! Don't worry, I'm coming! No, Montari! Run! Run! I can't leave you! Get out of here before he takes you as well! I'll find help! Black Reef now, McCardamon. Yes, Van Dyne. Don't worry. Your friend will be joining you before you know it. What a waste of time. <sighs> Tired? Tired of searching for Tanatos and not finding him? Nobody ever said it would be easy, but we can't give up hope. My brother is here somewhere. I know it. Jason, look. Huh? Dockery, I will find you. Evan, something's wrong with her. Evan? The Evan? You have to help me. Black Reef has tamed my friend Dockery. Black Reef is here? Not that Team Goblin again. No, it's... Oh man, those two are nothing but trouble. Wait, Jason. Where are they? Listen to me. It's not Team Goblin. It's their master, Van Dyne. And he has a new weapon. Some kind of long-range taming device. Taming on. He's caught me! Huh? Help! H hang on! You'll serve me alongside your friend. Yes, Fendine. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that, Evan? He just tamed her from all the way over there. Yeah, I saw it. If he's developed a device like that, 
somewhere in a mountain of trouble. You know who that is, right? That's Van Dyne, Jason. What? That's him? Afraid so. So you're Jason, huh? The famous son of Professor K. <sighs> Wait a minute, what's my dad got to do with this? What do you know about him? Where is he? Tell me! Hey! Hold on! Where are you going? Come back! I don't get it. How does he know my dad? Could dad's disappearance have something to do with the McCardimals? Jason, you gotta hear Juliet's joke. It's really funny. <laughs> it's not like the funniest joke ever. But okay, there's a giraffe, and he's really good at basketball. Uh, hold on. I mean, sorry, not right now. I've got something on my mind. Like what? <clears throat> Should've known. Isabel. Van Dyne is here in the city. You saw him? Yesterday. When I was with Evan, we both saw him tame a McCardimal. He was able to do it from a long range. <laughs> but the weirdest part of all is that he knows who my dad is. How does a Black Grief Creepazoid from another planet know my dad? Uh, you might want to keep it down. <clears throat> Let's talk about this later. Okay then, I'll meet you after school. Okay, McCardamal, I know you're here, but where? Gotta be getting close. Hey, closer than I thought. I should have a visual any second now. Huh? 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 Yeah, gotcha. The Noma. A Cobra-type McCardimal. <laughs> Taming! On! Taming? <sighs> what? belongs to me! You're not getting it that easy! <laughs> yeah, that's right! I'm challenging you to a battle! You sure? Think it over. What do you mean? I don't need to... <sighs> we'll save it for another time. You're lucky I have more important things to do. I froze! That's never happened to me before. Am I scared of Van Dyne? Just because he's got some new gadget that lets him tame McCardimals from a distance? No, no way, that couldn't be it. Whatever it is, it can't happen again. Or I'm sunk. So, Van Dyne himself has appeared. This is very troubling. It means he's finally making his move. Yes. Then we haven't much time. At all costs, we must prevent Black Reef from getting their hands on the McCardimals. I agree, Father. And Ryan of Red Hall feels just the same about Black Reef as we do. I know what you're about to suggest, Isabel. And it's out of the question. But why? Red Hall wants to tame the McCardimals and harness their power, just as Black Reef does. To save our world, not to conquer it. They believe the McCardimals' powers can be used for good. We will not be safe until all the McCardimals are sealed away forever. And for that reason, there can be no alliance with Red Hall. Father, what if we're oh, wrong about... A lot of garbage. I know, right? <clears throat> That's everything. I hope I've made myself clear, Isabel. Goodbye. Uh, okay, come on. I'll race you. 
Isabel, sometimes you just have to do what you think is right, no matter what. At least, that's what I think. Good advice, Mirane. Hey, here's an idea. Let's all go to the arcade! How about not? And anyway, I've got tutoring. Well, you're not much fun. What about you, Jason? Jason, did you hear my great idea? Why did Isabel duck out after school without talking to me? What's she hiding? Hey, did you hear my idea or not? Uh, which idea? Brandon, you're acting like it's some amazing new idea. You go to the arcade every day. I so totally do not. Name one day this week you haven't. Okay, I can't. Not going to the arcade. Now there's a new idea. <laughs> Jason. Isabel, there you are. We need a more private place for us to talk. Follow me. Sure. Let me just drop my stuff off in the house first. Make sure you bring one of your McCartamals. Huh? Yeah, all right. Hey, Mom, I'm home. Why does she want you to bring a McCartamal? Don't worry. I don't think Isabel wants to seal you guys up anymore. She doesn't, huh? Are you sure you can trust her, Jason? Well, yeah. She's kind of a mystery, but I think I can trust her. Well, I'll volunteer. Take me. Are you sure? I'm getting cabin fever in here, and I can only chase that cat around so many times. So, yeah, I want to come with you. Great. Let's saddle up. Well? When are you going to start telling me what you know about my dad? Isabel, what are we doing down here? Wait, and you'll find out. Wait for what? <sighs> Ryan? How did he know we were here? Because I told him. You what? Wait, but what about my dad? Sorry, but this is something we have to do first. Let's make this easy. Just hand over your McCartimals, all right? Huh? Okay, you got the rules? Winner takes all. Awesome! A three-way battle! You won't think it's awesome when I walk away with all your McCartimals. That's enough talking. Let's do it. Go! Enemy in common, part two. I assume you want to give me all your McCartimals to make sure Van Dyne doesn't get them? No, that's not the reason I called you here. I doubt you even know that Van Dyne is here. Yes, I knew, Jason told me. Well, you can't beat him, but I can. So just give me your McCartimals and let I me- I don't think either of us can beat him. That's why we have to work together. Uh, huh? Wait a second. What is it you're suggesting, Isabel? Sometimes you just have to do what you think is right, no matter what. We should join forces against Black Reef instead of wasting our time fighting each other. <laughs> you're, you're kidding, right? We're totally sworn enemies. Our two factions have a much more dangerous enemy in common. And this guy? How does he fit into it? I, um... This fight doesn't even concern you. My dad is involved, so it concerns me more than you think. His dad? Jason is the son of Professor K. Well, that's a twist. How about that? So, an alliance, huh? All right, we'll settle it with a tourney on battle. Wait, a what battle? The three of us battle, but only one of us wins. If I win, the two of you give me all your McCartimals, no questions asked. If you win, Isabel, well then, okay, you've got yourself an ally. Same thing goes for you if you win, Jason. Though I think we both know that's not likely to happen. So what do you two say? You in? Yeah, it's a deal. <laughs> Isabel? Sorry, Father. This is something I need to do. 
All right, you want a battle, you've got it. Excellent. Guess we might as well get to it then. Set up, Metcar! Set up, Metcar! forces with an Earthling newbie? It's never gonna happen. And why would I ever team up with somebody who wants to take my McCardimals and seal them away forever? Because she doesn't. She doesn't what? Want to seal them. She knows it wouldn't be right. In her heart, she knows. Hey, who called a timeout? What? was talking! Whoa! Got it finished! That may be what Blue City wants, but it's not what Isabel wants. Isn't that right, Isabel? I can see it in your eyes. Stop it! You're gonna make me cry! Final ability! Doomsday Dive Bomber! Okay! For the win! I can beat that! Final ability! Vertical Dive! Wings of Fire! Here we go! This is for all the marbles! Right! Final ability! Vertical dive! Wings of fire! I won't let you down, Isabel! Father... I can't 
do it. It's wrong to want to seal the Macardimals, and I won't do it. Forgive me, Father! in shutdown mode. Yeah, so is Shuma. What just happened? Who won? It looks like nobody won. It was a tie. So then we're right back where we were before. Maybe. But I guess that really all depends on you, Ryan. <sighs> well, I admit, battling you guys was tougher than I thought it would be. In fact, I wouldn't mind never doing it again. <laughs> Look, all that stuff you said to your father, did you mean it? I did. I meant every word. So does this mean you're joining forces with us, Ryan? Yeah, sure, why not? It's worth a shot, right? Hear that? We're on the same side now! I never understood why we had to have different factions anyway. Yeah, we're all McCardimals. Jason. Huh? Hey! Evan! Did I hear that right? All of us are working together now? Yeah, looks like it. Even the big red dump truck looking guy? Huh? Oh, you're talking about my transporter. Not only can he carry McCardimals, but he can shoot them out with incredible speed and laser-focused accuracy. Sounds cool. We'll need every advantage we can get battling Van Dyne. That's right. Did you know that he can tame them from long range? Yeah, I saw him do it. <laughs> He's caught me! Help! <laughs> Whoa, did you see that, Evan? Then trust me, we're gonna need every advantage we can get if we're gonna take him on. His power goes way beyond anything you've ever faced before. That's true. It's almost scary. So, kinda gives you the creeps, does he? Huh? I didn't mean it like that. Now you've gone and made him mad, Phoenix. Who says I'm mad? <laughs> yeah, your face is always bright red. <laughs> What do you mean? Sorry, sorry, but the look on your face. <laughs> hey, Jason, wasn't there something you wanted to ask Isabel? Uh, oh, yeah. You said you'd tell me how my dad is involved in all this. You're right. I can tell you, Jason. Whoa! Is that a, a talking necklace? Not exactly. You see, you're not the only one whose father is involved. That's your father? I mean, not that, but... Oh man, will someone tell me what's going on? The McCardables should have stayed sealed away in that vault forever. But now that they're free on Earth, both Blue City and Red Hall are going to have to work together to keep them out of Black Reef's clutches. Go! The Man in the Red Ruby, Part 1. Okay, I've waited long enough, Isabel. Tell me about my dad. Father? I'll give you as much information as I can. Whoa, wait! I'm not sure how I'm gonna get used to this. Pretty weird, I know. As weird as it may seem, Jason, it's true. I'm Dr. Franklin, Isabel's father. <sighs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, that makes two of us. For now, this is where I reside. It has its drawbacks, but at least I can communicate with Isabel. I get it. It's a transmitter and a speaker or something, right? And you guys communicate with each other through the necklace. I wish it was as simple as that, but it's not. It's true. I barely escaped the final battle by leaving my body behind and sealing my spirit in this ruby. Things just keep getting weirder, but nothing surprises me anymore. Ryan, I know Red Hall doesn't agree with me about how to handle the McCardimals, but for now, we must be allies. Because we have a common enemy. <laughs> a little early to sing Kumbaya. 
We'll just see what happens. Wait, who's this kumbaya fella? This is terrible. I can't even believe this. Is he stuck in that gem forever? Someday he'll be able to come back for real. Whoa. Wait a minute. This is all just too far-fetched to believe. Am I dreaming? It's not really any stranger than talking cars, if you think about it. Yeah, you believe that we're real, don't you? Of course. Just go with it for now and see what you can find out about your father. Okay. Thanks. I just got a little freaked out. I have a feeling it's gonna get a lot weirder. But I'm here for you, buddy. Let's hear the Doc's story. Yeah, right. I've been waiting a long time to tell you what I know about your father, Jason. Man, I want to hear this. But I don't think it's safe to talk about it in a public place. Hmm. I guess we could go to my house. Why not? The gang's all here. It's kind of hard to believe. Just a little while ago, we were all enemies. Let's hear from Dr. Franklin. I've got a few questions. I'm sure you do. We can use this to talk to him. Whoa. It's like a hologram. That's right. Though this device also functions as a projector. I invented it to help communicate with Isabel. When she places the ruby on the transducer, I can project my own memories and thoughts into the beam in three dimensions. Five years ago, our planet Megapolis was locked in a long, terrible war. Blue City and Red Hall were on opposite sides, and we inflicted heavy damage on each other. There was no end in sight, until one day a strange man appeared outside my lab. I didn't know it then, but that man was your father, Jason. He couldn't speak. In fact, he was barely alive. I carried him into the lab and treated his injuries, but for a while all he could tell me was that his name was Professor K, and that he was from Earth. So how'd my dad end up there? His body showed traces of radiation, so we think that the neutron laser used in the war had damaged the space nexus and created a temporary portal between our worlds. Professor K may have come through that portal by accident. Although it seems unlikely to me, as we were both working on similar and dangerous projects. What did you mean, dangerous projects? In hopes of ending the war, I was trying to develop a sort of ultimate soldier by bringing inanimate objects to life. Objects like cars? So you're the one who invented McCartables! No. I wish I could take credit, but my work was with humanoid and insectoid type robots, and I couldn't solve the final algorithm that would have allowed the robots to have free will. Every experiment ended in failure. I was ready to give up when Professor K recovered and reevaluated my project. I soon learned that your father was a brilliant scientist who had been working on the same type of idea. He saw that the problem was combining reanimation with physical mobility. He began recalculating my work. What we needed was a host that could already move effortlessly by itself. Because Professor K had also been a race car driver, he suggested using cars as the reanimation host. It was insanely complicated, but your father made it look easy. And almost instantly, the problem was solved and the Cardinals were born. If your father had not been sucked through the portal that day, the Cardinals would not exist. That's amazing. Most of us know we were created by Professor K, but I had no clue he was Jason's father. Oh. It would seem that fate has brought us all together. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how we got created and how we all got here. But I still don't get exactly what we're here for. Know what I mean? Yeah, we need to have a mission. That's right. Since your dad created us, you must know what the plan is, right, Jason? Yeah! Yes! Uh, hold up a minute, gang. I'm not the one who's in charge here. I mean, think about it from my point of view, okay? Three months ago, I was just a normal kid. And now nothing's normal. I'm looking at a bunch of miniature cars expecting me to lead them into battle. Let's hear the rest of Dr. Franklin's story. Uh, good point. So how did the McCartimals get to Earth? I'll let Isabel answer that. Father doesn't like to talk about it, because that's where the experiment went totally wrong. If the McCartimals were created, then the experiment was a success, wasn't it? It was, at first. The power of the McCartimals was so great that both sides realized war was not the answer. So that terrible war came to an end and a peace treaty was signed. Yeah! We turned that place into a parking lot! I mean, you know, in a good way. 
<laughs> Some peace. Blue City and Red Hall were arguing again from the get-go. You remember that portal that Dr. Franklin was telling us about? Mm-hmm. We needed the McCardimals on Micopolis to rebuild the cities. But Professor K, your father, used that portal to send them away. Professor K understood the McCardimals' power, and he thought someone might use us for evil. That's the reason he did what he did. Beneath my lab, there was a secret elevator shaft that led down to a hidden vault. Your father and I sealed the McCardimals away in that vault, hoping that the thick walls and multiple levels of security would keep them safe from falling into the wrong hands. Because he created us, I think your father felt responsible for protecting us. Yeah, but how'd the McCardimals get out then? For a time, they didn't. The McCardimals stayed safe deep below ground while the two enemy factions on the surface argued and fought about how to use them. But in the end, it turned out the danger wasn't Red Hall or Blue City. It seems, while we were busy fighting, a third faction had organized. They called themselves Black Reef, and they'd become really powerful. Yeah, I know a little about Black Reef. That's where Van Dyne said he was from. Right. And there's more of them where he came from. Unfortunately, that's true. Spies from Black Reef had learned about the secret vault. I wanted to destroy it before they could capture the McCardimals and use them against us. You're kidding me! At the time, I thought the danger of the McCardimals being used by Black Reef was simply too great. Our planet would have been destroyed. But your father had come to think of the McCardimals as living creatures, and he refused to allow me to deactivate them. He locked me out of the lab and opened the vault. With the McCardimals freed, I believe the Professor used my Giga Processor to reopen the same Space Nexus portal that he had traveled through. And just before Black Reef could break down the door, he sent all of the McCardimals to Earth. Professor K was never seen again. I assumed that he followed them through the portal himself. But something must have gone wrong, because when Isabel and I got to Earth, there was no sign of him. What happened to him? Are you saying... No. It could be the portal took him somewhere else. Don't give up hope, Jason. There's every chance your father's still alive, but caught somewhere in the Nexus. Okay, but... Now what? There's one more piece of the puzzle I haven't given you. Right at the end, your father said, Dr. Franklin, all of the McCardimals have a failsafe built in. Failsafe? You're kidding. Uh, that's news to me. There's no fail anything in me. I'm still under warranty. Well, with any luck, it's an on-off switch for your mouth, Tador. Unfortunately, Black Reef attacked just as the professor was about to tell me. Huh? After the attack, I searched the computer to see if Professor K had left any data about the failsafe code, but he had covered his tracks thoroughly. All I know is this. The Professor made sure that the McCardimals' core programming can't be changed without that code. So as long as we get to it before Black Reef does, then the McCardimals will be safe. But if Black Reef gets it, there won't be any way for us to stop them from using the power of the McCardimals. <sighs> yes. We need to learn the secret and crack the failsafe code before Black Reef does. Which would be a lot easier if we could just find Professor K. I mean, he's the one who wrote the code in the first place. You're right. If we lose this race, both Earth and Megapolis are doomed. I know this is a lot to absorb all at once. Well, don't stop now, Doctor. If we want to find Professor K, we need all the info we can get. That's right. If we lose this race, both Earth and Megapolis are doomed. Go! The Man in the Red Ruby, Part 2. Jason, I'll tell you something else your father shared with me in our time together. Professor K, I have to ask. What gave you the idea to use cars as hosts for the reanimation procedure? Nothing in my research suggested that would work. That was brilliant. As I've mentioned, 
I have a young son back on Earth who's always been crazy about cars. The data indicated other possibilities, but as a race car driver myself, I chose cars in honor of Jason. Wow. So you had a hand in the creation of McCardimals too, Jason. I'm hoping that connection will help us in this struggle. That's why I sent Isabel to Earth to meet you. But first, we had to see what you were capable of. Are you talking about the night I followed you to that warehouse? Don't tell me you planned that whole thing. Yeah, sorry. Whoa, what is she doing here? You mean you meant for me to get into that battle with Dabby the whole time? Uh, kinda risky, don't you think? What if the kid didn't make it? I know. It was a gamble to throw you into battle like that, but I had to see what you could do. Oh, I love this one! Booga, booga! Super Dash Speed! You'll have to be a lot quicker than that. Good call there, Jason. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of getting the hang of it. It's just as I suspected. Big deal, beginner's luck! Final ability! Play the Inferno! Let the flames begin! Alright, final ability! You might have what it takes to save this world. Rock the heavens above and the earth below! Earthshaker! Think about it. Man, I was lucky to even survive that battle. You got that right. I've been trying to tell you this from the start. Having an amateur on the team is a bad idea. Oh, stop it. Huh? I totally get why you feel that way, Ryan. I am a beginner. But if my dad sacrificed himself to save the McCardimals, then I owe it to him to try and finish the job. I won't let those Black Reef creeps get their hands on him. Who are you and what do you do with Jason? Okay, let's go. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you back. Well, you guys said you wanted a mission. You can count on us, Jason. We were made for this. Let's rock and roll. That's for sure. I've been looking forward to this day since I rolled off the assembly line. <laughs> I guess it's time to show you some new tech I have. Sonic Diesels. No way. Those are launch rails. Wait a second. Launch what now? Wanna tell him? <laughs> yeah. We'll get into the details a little bit later. If we're gonna be teammates, we'll need every break. Especially when we battle Van Dyne. That's for sure. Ryan, I... Uh... Huh? For now, just load up your cars. Now this is luxury. No kidding. It's gonna shoot us straight into battle. So awesome. Okay, let's see what this baby's got. I wouldn't get too comfy. Black Reef is out there waiting for us. That's a fact. Good luck, everyone. If your dad's wrong and Black Reef already knows about the failsafe code, Jason's gonna be in their sights. It would be logical to go after him. Jason could be in serious danger. Then we should be staying with him. No. Huh? He's okay for now. First you're gonna give me back that McCardamol I lost to you. Take him, but you won't be keeping him for long. You know it doesn't work like that, Ryan. You'll have to battle to get it back again. <laughs> you ready to do this? Oh, yeah. Set up, record! Enter Alta! Three, 
fair and square. Well, that's a fact. Anyway, it was good practice. Yeah, for both of us. And we're gonna need it now that we're in this thing together. Right, partner? Right. Hey there, Tonatos. Listen up. I think it's time you and I got to know each other a little better. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a better idea. How about you let me out of this fistful? When I get my treads on you, I'm gonna burn rubber all over that ugly grill of yours! Wow, looks like you could use a little anger management. No. Taming on. No! No, not that! Look, I'm sorry about that ugly grill crack! Don't do this to me! Maybe you'll sing a different tune now. Tenatos, welcome to Team Black Reef. Thank you. Thank you, Master. You don't actually believe you're capable of beating me, do you? 
actually I do, and I'll battle you right now to prove it. Well, say hello to my little friend. This is Tanatos. Tanatos. Go! My brother, my enemy, part one. We may have agreed to work together against Black Reef, but there's still only three of us here on Earth. We're a little outnumbered, if you ask me. Yeah, but we can get a head start on them if we work on our own for a little while. Let's split up and each go our own way. Everybody tame as many McCardimals as you can. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to get out there and see how many more I can tame. Then let's meet back here in three hours and we'll know for sure who's our best tamer. I got this locked up. After all, my dad did invent them. I was born for taming them. <laughs> yeah, right. Just be careful out there. I bet I get more than you. Don't get cocky, noob. This is that same warehouse I followed Isabel to that night. I've got a feeling this is the kind of place McCartimals might hide out. Show me the updates you made to the scanner. First, run a wide scan. And if the sensor picks up a McCardimal, you'll see a red dot. Then you can focus in on its location. Got one. So now, I'd probably have to isolate it so I can navigate to where it is, right? That's right. Narrow the search field until the red dot is centered. It's not 100% accurate, but it should get you close to an untamed McCardimal. All right, moving out. Hey, there's Isabel! Sup? <laughs> oh, hi, guys. Your friends have terrible timing. Tell me about it. What do I do? You'll have to make some excuse so you can leave. Don't show them the tracker. Uh, gee, what a nice surprise. We were thinking the four of us could hang out. Actually, I was just leaving. That's okay. We were really looking for Jason anyway. Have you seen him? You two seem to hang out together a lot lately. Nope, can't help you. And like I said, I gotta get going now. Oh, hey! You can come get some pizza with us if you wanna. Yeah, as long as you're here, you might as well, right? Uh, uh, thanks, but I gotta run. Always the same lame excuses. It's like she thinks we're not cool enough. Nope, nothing behind this one. Or this one. Nothing here either. This stinks. And I don't just mean the garbage. I'm closing in on it now, Dad. Excellent. It should be within a hundred yards of here. Well, look who's here. <sighs> I guess we meet again. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Must be your lucky day, huh? You're telling me. He's close. Real close. Huh? Ha! I got you, pal. <laughs> there he is. He looks like a tough one, too. Let's see who we've got. Prince Kong. Gorilla-type McCardamal. Here we go. I say, who goes there? Cat Sukes, do you intend to tame me? You got it. But don't be afraid. Prince Kong fears no one. Well then, we're all good. Taming on. Not see here, you! How dare you abscond with Prince Kong, you dare you well! You want no! <laughs> Glad to have you on our team, Prince Kong. You'll be glad that you didn't become part of Black Reef. Oh, he still will. Just give it a minute. Van Dyne! What an unpleasant surprise. Yeah, I'm sure you know how this works. It's not up to the McCardimals to choose. Whoever tames them keeps them. <laughs> what do you want? Last time we met, you said something about a battle, didn't you? Yeah, that's right! I'm challenging you to a battle! You sure? Think it over. What do you mean? I don't need to...
We'll save it for another time. Well, that time is now, and I accept. Or you could just give me Prince Kong now. Yeah, fat chance. I don't run away like you did. Oh, really? Let's find out. Time to set up. Mickard! Set up. Mickard! Show me what you got, Prince Kong. Launch rail, go! Indeed I shall, Sir Ryan. Prince Kong is out of the gate with a supercharged V8! Brilliant! Say hello to my little friend. It's Tanatos. Tanatos? <laughs> Makarama, go! As you command, Master Van Dyne. Full power available. That's no launch! This is a launch! Beats <laughs> Kong Power! You're in for a royal beating now, you blackguard! <laughs> Tanatos! How? Your brother has been looking everywhere for you! I serve Van Dyne. I don't answer to you. Shall I smash the master? Yeah, into atoms! Go! I hear and obey, Van Dyne. <laughs> See how you like my Cobra King! <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a threat. Hey, Prince Kong, you all right? Took one in the bread basket, I dare say. I know you've been brainwashed, Tanatos, but I'm not about to take it easy on you. It's time to blow his doors off, Prince Kong! Earthshaker! <laughs> Hit them while they're down. Let's bust out your Ricardo Super Strike, Prince Kong! Gorilla Airborne Attack! He's disappeared off my terrain scanner. Where'd you go, Prince Kong? Perhaps you've heard of the Flying Monkeys! Tanatos, are you okay? Only minor damage, Master. <laughs> Got you now, Van Dyne! Prince Kong's gonna pound you back to the Stone Age! <laughs> Why don't you just give me Tanatos back now, before this battle does too much damage? What's going on? We're hitting him hard and he doesn't seem phased. Finish him off, Prince Kong! Let's get Tanatos back! So predictable. All right, final ability! Gorilla Aerial Attack! You don't deserve him. Huh? What'd you say? That's why I'm going to take Prince Kong away from you right now. Final ability! High voltage power! Plasma Ball! Cannonball Punch coming! <laughs> you wouldn't put up too much of a fight. You're a part of Black Reef now, Prince Kong. Indeed, Master. And if you know what's good for you, you'll stay away. Oh, 
did I lose? A whole day of hunting and I didn't tame a single McCartamal. I've been out here since 8 this morning and all I got for it is blisters on my feet. I bet Isabel and Ryan probably found a bunch of them. Don't worry, Jason. But it does seem like it'd be easier if you had one of those McCartamal trackers like they have. You're definitely right about that, Tador. It's not fair. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself, Jason. You have some things that they don't have, too. Don't forget. Yeah, like blisters. I meant determination, but sure. I'm serious, Evan. Serious about what, Jason? What if I can't do this? Get a grip, Jason. This could be serious trouble. Ryan just got his clock cleaned by Van Dyne and Tinatos. You can bet he's coming after you next. And if Van Dyne beats you, then he has both Tinatos and Evan. There will be no way to stop him. Go! My brother, my enemy. Part two. Jason! Hey, where'd you go, man? Oh, good, there you are. Glad I found you. Listen, I know where there's a McCartimal. Really, Phoenix? This better not be another wild goose chase like before. This info came straight from the horse's mouth. Well, actually, from a sewer rat's mouth. But I know this guy, and he's pretty reliable. Uh, for a rat. We'll show you where the car is, but it's gonna cost you some cheddar. I gave him a nice cheese plate from your mom's fridge. So what are we waiting for? The early bird catches the McCartimal, you know? Ah, it's the only lead we have, so I think we ought to go for it. Hmm. Yeah, time to tame. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe we'll even find Tonatos. All right, we're following Phoenix. I'm on it, Jason. Wow. Oh, quit your whining. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> How come girls never want to hang out with us? Well, guys, I'd say it's been fun, but it kind of hasn't. Huh? Never mind, I think I see the reason. But Isabel's cool. She likes hanging out with us. Maybe if I just walk away really quietly, they won't notice I left. Hey, Isabel, there's one last french fry. It gotta powder my nose. What for? It looks fine. That's what girls say when they're going to the bathroom. Huh? The bathroom? Uh, Earth boys are so gross. Way to go, Einstein. You did it again. Girls make me nervous. I never know what to say. What a disaster. I haven't even looked for McCardimals yet. Your two friends are slowing you down. I'm just gonna have to ditch him. I think those rats pulled a fast one on you, Phoenix. What would a McCardimal be doing inside a massive meat freezer? How should I know? Maybe it's a McCartable that overheats all the time. Well, maybe you don't care about the cold, but I'm freezing just standing here. <sighs> we better bail. I think I hear someone coming and we don't want to get caught. Hey, you. You're not allowed to be in here. This is private property. Authorized personnel only. How'd you get inside, anyway? Oh, I... I was just looking for a... Listen, you could get frostbite in here. Now scram! Sorry, my bad. Well, at least I didn't get turned into a human snow cone. <sighs> Let me give it a try, Jason. Maybe with my size, I can sneak past the guard and find that McCartimal. Better turn your heater on full blast! They won't be expecting anyone to come in the back door. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Crows. Why did it have to be Crows? Time. It took me a week to get that mess off my paint job. Hey, Isabel. You're right on time. So, how did your taming go? I wish I had better news. Well, I got nothing, so you must have done better than I did. No luck. I got sidetracked. What happened? I almost got one. I wonder if Ryan had better luck. We can only hope. He... Huh? Hey, Ryan. We're both hoping you did better than we did. No kidding, but an old pro like you probably... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna say you didn't tame any either. <laughs> what happened out there, Ryan? <sighs> I did so much worse than just coming up empty. <laughs> oh no, 
It's no big deal if you didn't find a McCartamol. <sighs> That's just it. I did find a McCartamol. I found Prince Kong and I tamed him, but then Van Dyne showed up and battled me and took him. And that's not even the worst part of it, because he beat me with Tanatos. What? Are you serious? I wish I was wrong, but I saw it myself. Somehow he got Tanatos first and tamed him. I can't believe my own brother has gone over to Black Reef. And that's going to make Van Dyne even harder to beat than he was before. Let's go find him. Let me battle him. You wouldn't stand a chance. The only way to find out is to try. I have to get Tanatos back. You're right. He took Prince Kong down like he was a toy monkey. He's a beast. That's why I'm going to take Prince Kong away from you right now. Final ability! High voltage power! Plasma ball! him and Tanatos right where I wanted him. And he beat me with a single attack. I totally froze, and it was over before I knew it. Well, I'm sure not scared of him. Me neither. And you ought to be, Jason, because if you battle Van Dyne and you don't win, you'll lose more than just a battle. You're gonna lose Evan, too. <sighs> Forgot about that, didn't you? We have to stop this from happening. And we don't have a lot of time. Obviously, Van Dyne is trying to assemble a super team with Tonatos and Evan. And since he beat Ryan with just Tonatos, imagine if he had both of them. It would make Van Dyne unbeatable in Mechart battles. That's why I should battle him. We can't afford to send you, Jason. I disagree, Isabel. I know it's a risk, but I think Jason and I can beat him. Evan. Listen, Tonatos is my brother. I have to try. You're thinking with your heart instead of your head, Evan. Isabel and I are better equipped to throttle Van Dyne, so let us handle this. Evan's right. Are you serious? But first, you have to go up against me and Taro. Why? Because if you can't beat me, then Ryan's right. You wouldn't stand a chance against someone as strong as Van Dyne. So are you ready for this? Well, I... Uh, I am. to hold back. That's right, Taro. Give me your best shot. You know this is the real thing, don't you, Jason? Worry about your own self. Faster than lightning! Super Dog Speed! Yeah! Pedal to the metal! Ha! Yeah, nice hit, Evan! Buckle up! It's gonna be a rough landing! Yeah, for you! Didn't see that one coming, did you? Now let's go to the next level. Frost him over Taro! Freezing Fang! <laughs> Evan, watch out! That's cold, man! Now let's break the ice! Hit him hard, Taro! Wing blades! <laughs> One more of those and he's gonna be too damaged to keep battling. Time to finish it. Final ability! Go Spinning Cyclone! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Repel that with 
Hydro Armor! Good call, Jason! Taro's attack can't touch me in here! Yeah, your Hydro Armor can repel Taro's attacks and keep Evan safe for a little while, but it's not gonna do much for Jason. <laughs> Jason, surrender the battle! It's not worth it! I gave you my word! I'll help you find your brother, Evan. I'm gonna keep that promise, and I'm not gonna give up until we get you and Tonatos back together again! Vital ability! Equip! Blade of Ice! Good choice, Jason! I'm slicing nice, this green monster! Sorry, Isabel. Yeah, that's the way! Right on! Great battle. Awesome job. You did it, Evan! No, we did it. And you and I are gonna rescue Tanatos together. Hang in there, brother, because help is on the way.